Hey, Shabbat Shalom. How do we impart our most important values and lifelong teachings to the next generation? How do we make sure that when we leave this world, the next generation, the people we live behind, will live the values that we hold so dear? And I'm asking this question because in this week's Parsha, Parshat Emor, God tells Aaron, Moses' brother, Emor el HaKohanim, tell the priests, tell the other Kohanim, Ve'amarta love, and then he repeats it and say to them, And Rashi, the great biblical commentator, explains that God is telling, he's admonishing Aaron to make sure that whatever he's believing in and the commitment he has to God and to Judaism is going to outlast him by teaching properly the next generation. But how do you do that? How do you make sure that what you hold dear is going to carry on? And Rav Moshe Feinstein, one of the late and great rabbis of the 20th century said it's all about you embodying something yourself right kids don't listen to what we have to say and in general even adults when we preach at other people we, we're turned off from that we're almost we just we, we, we pull back but when we see someone walking the walk that's why in hebrew the it's called halakha to walk the way the jew lives their life is by walking it's not by preaching it's by living a certain life if you live your values so you believe in, let's say, Hashem, and you believe in resting on it, but you just talk about it, you preach about it. That's not going to go anywhere. The next generation is going to pick up on that, but if the, your kids see you observing Shabbat, if, 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 if you tell everybody how important it is not to speak ill will of other people, but we do it ourselves, then of course our kids are not going to take us seriously. But if they see us being careful about the way we speak, and this is not just for children. I'm speaking to many of the MGE singles in their 20s and 30s who are not married. Right? If we want to have an influence on our friends and our colleagues, it's not what we say, it's what we do. We want to be able to give over what we cherish in life. The best way of doing that is living that ourselves. So think for a minute, what is it that I want to share with other people? What do I want to leave this world after I'm gone? Live that. Other people will pick it up. Shabbat Shalom.